Hey YouTubers, Dr. Seuss here again. I uh, just thought I'd show you another one of my semi-automatic pistols. Uh, this one, uh, another one I got with my CNR license. This is a 1950s era Yugoslavian Tokarov. Um, it's a, Yuga, a Zastava MD57. Uh, the main difference between the Yugoslavian and, let's say, the Romanian, or the other TTs, is this will hold nine rounds in the uh, clip and or the magazine and one round in the chamber. The others are all eight. Um, purchased this from Southern Ohio Gun. Got a good price on it. You'll notice that I added the rubber grip to it. I originally had made um, a wooden finger grip for this here um, and you know I hand whittled this and um, attached it with a double back. Um, it worked really well but that was only until I could find the proper rubber grip. I couldn't find any cross-reference for this particular um, model of firearm. Um, and because it's a single stack, I um, had a hard time uh, finding one that would fit with the grips and the plates and everything like comfortable. Well, lo, lo and behold, on one of my infamous trips to Cabela's, I was uh, gave a shot with a uh, Pacmire tactical grip for an S&W Sigma. Um, and I thought I'd give that a shot looking at it in the packaging. It looked like it was for a single stack or at least for a narrow grip. Uh, brought it home, took the other wooden one off, and gave it a shot, and it fits great. So any of you out there that have the uh, TTCs or TT33s or the Romanian or the Yugoslavian Takarovs, or you've gotten them recently from Southern Ohio, which I know a lot of people are buying them up, um, this grip, I guarantee you, will work. And I just slip it on, and it's got a real nice positioning for me for my hand. And for this uh, firearm, it fits really well. Um, like this gun, shoots really well. Um, it's heavy, uh, as you'll see in other people's reviews. Um, but it's a solid firearm. I really enjoy shooting it. It's very accurate. Um, when I got it, it appeared to have never been fired. Um, or if it had, it was very lightly used. Um, but it was packed with the ye old. Uh, Cosmoline. So um, I stripped it down totally and went ahead and uh, used my aluminum pans and um, cake drying racks that I lay inside my aluminum pans, heated the oven up to 250 degrees, and um, then slowly cooked it. And as it came, about every half an hour, I'd take it out, wipe it down, um, clean it out a little bit more, and slowly but surely, it came nice and clean. Uh, gave it a good thorough cleaning inside and out. Uh, just really, really pleased with it. It's a really nice firearm. Now, when I purchased it, the deal with uh, Southern Ohio is they were supposed to come with two clips, uh, two factory magazine clips. Um, but unfortunately, and the serial numbers do match, uh, but unfortunately, right after I purchased it, I got a call from Angie there saying that they had run out of them and um, they'd give me a discount on my purchase price, which I won't mention, um, but it was a nice price. Uh, and if I, you know, take it without the one clip. And I said, of course, I'd still wanted to order the firearm. So I took it. Then I went looking around on the net, and I found out that if you take a CZ-52, I found a site where a gentleman said, if you take a CZ-52 clip and put the notch in it, match the notch. So I took the old Dremel, and then you see I used some bluing and blued it back up. And I had to, you know, fine-tune with the file and just work on it a little bit on these top rail edges just to get it to action. It would take the rounds no problem, but I couldn't get it to uh, the firearm to receive it from the clip until I did a little bit of file work on it. But it works like a champ now. Uh, the only thing is you don't have your lan lanyard clip on the bottom, but who cares? Because um, you still have a lanyard ring on the other side. Uh, downfall with this gun. Uh, only thing I don't like about it is sometimes the uh, action is hard um, to get the uh, spring action on the uh, bolt release or the slide release uh, sometimes to come off smooth. Sometimes it gets a little sticky. Um, also, it is a single-sided, uh, not an ambidextrous clip release, but they do release pretty well. As you can see, weapon's empty. Um, you know, fires really well. Uh, does have the added safety mark to it. As you'll see, it did get a couple scratches in it while I was stripping it down. My bad on that. Um, but besides that, it cleaned up really well. 
Really, really enjoy this firearm. I uh, really like the grip on it. So I recommend it. Plus, the nice thing is these clips, if you can find them, are in $30 to $50 range. I picked this up at my handy-dandy local gun shop for, I think, about $10 or $12 for a CZ-52. Um, just take your time, and remember, and I'll give you a hint. When you do this grind, it's okay if it's a little high, but if it's too low, you've, you've wasted it because uh, the clip release won't catch it or it'll be too loose. So you want to go um, make sure when you parallel these up and do your markings and your scribing, and then just take a little bit at a time with a cutting wheel or grinding wheel with your Dremel, just a little bit at a time until you get it fine-tuned the way you like it, and you'll be all set. So that's it for my uh, Romanian, or I'm sorry, Yugoslavian Takarov. Uh, 1950s vintage uh, 762 by 25 pistol and as usual I keep it I have the leather holster it came with a leather holster and a, the cleaning rod um, but as usual I keep it in my crossman cloth uh, holsters because I don't like keeping my firearms in their leather holsters um, I keep them just for collectors purposes but I usually store them in this and I use my decent um, capitals in the uh, pistol safes I have multiple pistol safes um, I usually keep two guns in each and um, I have them in there to keep them nice and dry. Um, but again, this one will be hitting the range very soon again because I really enjoy shooting it. And Takarov ammunition is butt cheap at like nine cents a round, nine and a half cents a round. Buy it by the case. Uh, well worth it. Okay, uh, that's it. Dr. Seuss signing off. Uh, God bless America and God save the Republic.